Hello, thank you for taking the time to view our exhibition. Um, one of the wonderful things about going and exploring an exhibition is that you get a chance to um, sort of become receptive to the pieces and respond to them. Um, but the Stillmore Roots group, we oftentimes um, um, like to be present and to be able to have a conversation about the work. And this is as close as we're going to get since I'm in North Dakota right now. So uh, I just want to talk about three pieces that, um, that I have entered into this exhibition called Common Ground. The first piece that you may recognize is the piece right when you walk in the door, which includes sort of a triptych. And that triptych has a, um, um, has a branch that is uh, sort of fallen down. And then it looks like there's a shadow or a, um, um, some sort of imprint of that branch that is etched into the uh, triptych. I have been inspired by shadows as an indication of um, something that exists, um, but that is not actually um, um, present, not a real object. Um, I look at shadows almost as indications of objects. Um, it's like proof that the object exists but it's temporary. It is sort of ghost-like in a way. I've also always loved uh, getting out to my car and having a penny on my dashboard, and then I move the penny, and that imprint is made into the uh, uh, into the dashboard. And uh, so I like how things can resonate over time, and um, that's what I wanted to do with this piece. I wanted to show something that if I put a couple lights on, it would match up perfectly but um, it was real, and it, um, it encapsulated the, uh, the moment that that object was lit and noticed and made special. And it looks kind of confusing when you're looking at it, um, because maybe you're trying to line it up. It becomes sort of a game. It makes you uh, think about your own body and trying to, uh, to make it fit, and it can't fit in all places at once. And um, um, I like that um, opportunity with art to, um, to encourage that sort of consideration of what our body can't and can't do, uh, what we can see and what we can't see, and um, um, how in some ways uh, this is confusing, but it's, it's pretty and it's temporary. So, uh, but I've tried to make it permanent. So, uh, the second piece that you may see is the, um, the pine straw piece, which is cut out. It looks like there's just a whole bunch of pieces of pine straw that have been taped together, but actually this is a, a laser cut piece of paper. And I was told that it wouldn't be able to cut that tightly, uh, but I really wanted to, uh, to see if it was possible. Um, one of the beautiful things about being out in um, Stillmore in Swainsboro is the pine straw on the ground, how it surrounds a tree, and uh, this almost looks like a, a welcome mat if you put it down the ground. It looks kind of confusing against the brick, um, but uh, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous as a single object, and it's gorgeous as it comes together, and it's all holding itself up um, by those, uh, those points of tension. And, um, and we're not alone, we're not islands. And so we are connected and interconnected as people. And uh, I think that that work sort of responds to that, um, using the indications of what objects we surround ourselves with um, and using that as a metaphor for how we are connected. And then the last piece that you may recognize is the uh, the mirror piece that's about four foot tall. It's a whole bunch of mirrors that are um, precariously placed, and then there's um, objects that um, echo throughout the whole object, uh, throughout all the mirrors. And um, I think that with this piece, I was interested in considering, um, much like the much like the branch piece, uh, what was possible and what was not possible, and trying to defy physics and defy 
uh, how we know that the world works and uh, just make something beautiful uh, and magical and something that couldn't necessarily be understood. Um, our, um, um, if I drop this pen right now, I know that this pen is going to go a certain amount of distance and then it's going to make a noise. But then if I go a couple of miles up, uh, if I did that same thing, then it may go a little bit uh, slower. Or even if I went more miles up, I would hit this place where gravity uh, didn't do the same thing. And so it is um, a wonder to me what we can know, what we can't know, and how close we really are to things changing and us not knowing how the world works um, or how what is expected uh, can be unexpected. And so um, the, mir the mirrors are something that ever since I was a little kid I was in love with. I was in love with putting the mirror down the ground and looking in and uh, seeing myself go for eternity down and seeing the sky reflected like it was a hole and so um, um, I think that this is also probably about the roots group in the way that um, each of those little round things that are um, being uh, reflected in and out um, reflects the members of the roots group that I have become so close with over time and we may be separated um, but through magical thinking we can all be connected so thank you very much again for taking the time to see our exhibition and for supporting the arts in the community. Uh, once again, I'm Anthony Ferris, and uh, yeah, thank you for your time.